Hello, I want to continue making videos about uh, functional programming in Scheme. At least this version, this video is going to deal with Scheme. I've had a lot of students ask about the problem of dealing with a grid. Uh, because we're, we're kind of limiting ourselves to just the standard um, uh, built-in lists that are part of Scheme. Uh, they don't really lend themselves to, to grids in the way that you're used to, say, for example, a, a 2D array would. Uh, so I want to look and write some code for how we might go about dealing with a, a grid. And so I'm going to define, uh, you kind of want both get and set. I'm going to write set because it turns out that if you write set, uh, it's pretty easy to figure out how you're going to write get. So setting a grid, we're going to pass in a grid, a row, a column, and the value that we want to be stored at that row and column in the grid. Now, we're doing this in a functional manner, so the result of this is itself a new grid. There, we're not going to alter the original grid. The original grid will be completely unchanged. But we're going to get back a new grid, and it's going to reuse a lot of the components. For example, every row that we don't touch will be completely intact. It's only the one row that we're editing that's going to be altered. Uh, in addition, all the columns beyond the one row, beyond the column we edit, in the row that we edit, will still be the same. And I want to write this code so it will work with any size grid. It really doesn't matter. As long as it, you know, something like, uh, so for example, if I were going to start off with a 5x5 five five type of grid, I could do this you know, and have five of these. I'll stop at four because it really doesn't matter because I didn't put in a define on them. Um, and of course I have to quote. So let's say, let's do a define grid as quote and then close that off. Okay, so that would give me the type of grid that I'm, that I'm talking about. Uh, so on the set, well the, this function is going to run through the grid and find the correct uh, row. So it's, it's basically going to look and say, is this the row I want to change? 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 And so I'm going to say, well, if r, sorry, if equals r0. So if we get to the point where our row variable is equal to 0, 